What's going on, my good people? This is your man, Sidham Thano. You're watching RC Omega. Salute to all my division agents out there. We're going to start out right here looking at this AR, the Custom P416 G3. And the reason why is because this is your primary weapon, as you can see, it's in the number one slot, and it has a 50% weapon damage boost. Let's talk about the three elements that creates that. First is going to be the NSYNC talent that's on it, right? It rolled with it, and you can see I did some recalibration and some optimizing, but NSYNC talent is going to give you 15-15 when both symbols are active at the same time. That's 30%. Right, so you got 30%, right, on top of 20% that is triggered by this laser pointer, right? Now, Custom P416 can hold the laser pointer. I know a lot of you guys like the Farmers. The Farmers is not going to hold a technician laser pointer. There may be another AR out there that you might want to try. Like, I know the P Police M, whatever the thing is called, you know, that, that gun, it will hold the laser pointer. Um, but you need an instinct talent on there, right? So um, if you got an AR rolled with the instinct talent, that maybe that's the one you want to go with. As long as it can hold the it can hold the laser pointer, right? That's gonna be essential. You're gonna need something that's you're gonna need an AR that's gonna hold that laser pointer because now your 50% is triggered as soon as you make contact, right? Very simple. And I'm gonna show you why. Instinct talent, remember 30%, perfect spotter, 20%. That laser pointer creates a pulse. So as long as you're pointing at them. You're getting that 20%. That's your 50% on your AR, right? Um, secondary, I'm going Scorpio, you know, Septic Shock. Um, if you want to go something else secondary, by all means. I decided to go secondary Septic Shock just for that stopping power from the Scorpio. TDI. We're looking like we're a five tier, but once you have this gun equipped, you see that? You see that red going? When you got it in your hand, you got a six tier, right? Look at the, the talent. Right, so your cores, you got 14.5 on your pistol damage, you got a skill tier. Your talent, right, perpetuation, right? So 50%, that's 50% to your status effect, right? So you want to use a skill that has a status effect in it. Let's look at this real quick, All right? Skill damage, right, we rolled that, we put skill, you can see everything we got on there, right? 40%. While we're looking at this stuff, I'll talk about the pulse resistance. If you're going to go to the dark zone, pulse resistance, pulse resistance is going to be important. You got 50% from your uh, your technician. That's this. You know, your specialization, 50%. You get 40% from Yao, right, with the three-piece. You get a three-piece thanks to the Ninja Backpack, of course. That gives you 90%. You're going to need 10% in order to be 100% off the radar. So what that means is you just need a mod slot to be filled, one of these, with a oh hold on one of these bad boys right here with 10 percent uh you see where i have the 11.5 skill heads you're going to put a 10 percent one of these 8.3s now i only have 8.3s so unfortunately for me that means i have to use two mod slots which takes away from my skill haste kind of sucks a little bit that's if i'm going to the dark zone with this build but lately i've been taking it out of the dark zone originally i created it for the dark zone but outside of the dark zone oh my god this build is an absolute monster absolutely love it right so let's look at everything we got going on here. We got skill haste here. All right, you see your tens. You see everything you got there. Go straight down here, All right? Skill damage, 170, 15. You saw that, All right? Skill damage, 20, All right? And you got the 10% of status effect. Repair the skills, 20. All right here, you got some armor regen, skill haste, 9.5, right? Additional skill haste, which is great. We can optimize that up. 9.5 is not that bad, All right? That's where our additional skill haste comes from, and we've got 11.5s so all through it. So we got 11.5, 11.5, 12. Then you got that extra right here, right? Skill haste, and you got a little bit of armor regen. 1.6 in the armor. Of course, you know what your ninja backpack does. If you don't know, that's the resourceful talent. And you can see I have it on quite a bit of fields, <laughs> right? You follow me? Check out my skill haste. Let's step out real quick. All right. Check this out. 20.8 seconds. 2.9. And it actually drops down a little bit further than that. Let me make sure I got the right skill haste in here. Because I should have two 11.5s and uh, 112. Yeah, so it was at 19 seconds at first, but right now it just said something completely different, which is fine. But yeah, 20 seconds. So 20 seconds on my sticky bomb. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, now the cool thing about this build, we about to go out into the field real quick, but the cool thing about this build, use whatever skills work for your gaming style. Right now I decided to go with the sticky bomb and the hide. Let's take it out in the field.
Hold on. We just gonna go to Grand Washington. Because it's like right, you know what I mean? It's just right there in the open. Uh, we'll clear out the first two rooms of guys. It's gonna be pretty quick. We probably won't run into any elites, but it is heroic. So we just gonna, we gonna fly through it real quick. I gotta get out of here. Hostile control point identified. Getting that Black Tusk assault team out of there is your main objective. But there are a few high priority targets we want you to neutralize. Their code names are Puck, Roadblock, and Carver. Oh, let me pick that up. Hold on. Never can have enough of those. All right, let's roll. You're gonna have to do this room by room. Room by room. Right. We clear these guys out real quick so you guys can just see how. I mean, this this build is very effective. We should have some yellows in here somewhere. What am I looking for? Check over there. I'll put him down. Let's crank that hive up a little bit. Still got to 20% even if you don't, if he's not affected by the hive. Fuck him. Let's roll. I mean, you clear out these rooms with ease, bro. We had seven minutes. I actually really do need to go. Um, I was going to go in here and take out Puck real quick, but let's see if we can just, we can't do this, knock this out real quick. Because I, I got to get out of here, bro. See how fast we can knock this room out. I'm gonna go up this way this time. Notice how I'm keeping my back where my back is not exposed. I'm not using a triangle formation this time. I'm just kind of just stomping through them. Hang on, I'm reloading. Where you at? There you go. Out, oh, it's gonna hurt. Out, out, out. I knew that was gonna hurt. Immediate medical assistance needed. There you go. Come on, come on, girl. Missed that. She about to die anyway. I don't know why I'm playing around with her. I need to just go kill her. That gear is that she dropped. Is here. Confirming that the <laughs> is down. Good work. Continue clearing the building. 